Real Betis are expected to be without defender Luis Felipe for the Europa League last 16 second leg clash with Manchester United on Thursday evening. Eric Ten Hag's side travel to the Benito Villamarín Stadium with a 4-1 lead over their Spanish opponents, with Marcus Rashford, Antony, Bruno Fernandes and Wout Weghorst having scored in the first leg victory. The Reds will be confident of progressing to the next round of the competition, and Betis are set to be without one of their key men for the game in midweek. Felipe who started in the clash at Old Trafford, is likely to be sidelined with a hamstring injury, with us suggesting that he will be out for a couple of weeks. The centre-back was absent in Betis' 1-1 draw away to Villarreal in La Liga on Sunday, which could prove to be another positive result in their quest for a Champions League spot next season. Midfielder William Carvalho was absent for the league clash at the weekend, but that was due to suspension and he will be available for Thursday evening's encounter. Elsewhere, talisman Nabil Fakir remains sidelined and will play no part in the game against United, while Juan Cruz, who has made five appearances in La Liga, is also out. Meanwhile, United manager Ten Hag was keen to stress that youngster Alejandro Garnacho came off as a precaution in the Reds' goalless draw with Southampton on Sunday, even though he left Old Trafford on crutches. The 18-year-old came on in the 73rd minute but he was taken off in added time and headed straight down the tunnel. Garnacho required treatment during the game after a challenge by Southampton right-back Kyle Walker-Peters, but his manager claimed that his removal was both due to his injury and a tactical call. So in the end I thought they bring on another striker, a tall one, I don't want to go for a risk, Ten Hag said after the game. We were already down to 10, to go to maybe 90%, that's why I took him off but I think it's not too bad. Now